welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to dive into why we use sugar to show love and to receive love and also how step by step you can break this habit in your own life. Now, before I dive into all the details, don't forget to subscribe to my channel below and hit like so I know what videos to keep making for you. I've also posted a link in the comments below this video so you can head over and sign up for my newsletter list. Next week, I am sending out a great list of tips and ideas, ways that you can celebrate Valentine's Day or any day of love for that matter without sugar. So sugar equals love for most of us. Those two words are really synonymous for so many of us. And it's been over the past 60, if not more years, we have been trained by food manufacturers to believe that that is a healthy way of expressing a whole bunch of our emotions. So whether it's joy, celebration, happiness, sadness, and love. Now, because food manufacturers know just how addictive sugar is, they've been using it to their advantage in linking subconsciously, you know, holidays, birthdays, celebrations, and emotions such as love with sugar. I mean, when was the last time you thought about Christmas and didn't think about sugar, or Valentine's Day, or your birthday, or a great Friday night? Ads are everywhere, plastered in magazines, on billboards, enforcing that love equals sugar, or sugar equals love and all of these other emotions. Why does this work so well? Why did it work so well over the last 70 years to get us to this place where we are now where we don't even think twice about birthday cake or loading up on Valentine's Day chocolates? It's because sugar does temporarily give you a high happy feeling. This is the release of dopamine in your brain that happens along with many other recreational drugs that is a temporary release of that happy hormone so we feel good. Now, the key word here is short-lived. And what happens normally, especially with sugar, is that we crash, right? We'll come off of that temporary high, happy feeling and we'll feel low. And the cycle is continuous. So this is where the addiction comes in. Our, tr our brain will want more of that sugar in order to keep releasing and feeling happy. And this is the addictive cycle. Now we know how dangerous, I'm hoping you know how dangerous by now, overconsumption of sugar is for our health. And it is so important to think and look at in your own life how you're using sugar in terms of all these other emotions. Today I'm talking mostly about love because Valentine's Day is right around the corner, but it's all of these emotions and how we actually celebrate or deal with them using something as toxic as sugar needs to stop. Let's face it, most of us show love by baking or buying um, treats for someone that we love or giving candy to our children or perhaps loading up on chocolates for the next holiday to give away as gifts to those around you. It's treating ourselves to something sugary at the end of a long or successful day at work. But these are not the true meaning of love. These are not ways that we're providing health and happiness in a real emotional connection way. True love is shown by connecting with someone, with telling them you love them, with spending quality time with your children or those that you love, with making time for other people, helping reduce their stress by maybe doing something for them. There are so many ways to show, give, receive love, both to yourself and to others that should not involve sugar. So now how can you start breaking this habit? Because it is a habit. It's so deep rooted in our subconscious that we reward ourselves. We show love with sugar. How can you start to break this habit? Step one is to acknowledge that this is what you're doing, to really own that this is what's going on in your own life. Step two is to decide and commit to changing this habit. Step three is to sit down and make a list of all the ways that you can show love to other people that do not involve sugar or food. So anything from giving a hug, doing someone else's chores, planning a surprise getaway, anything that really is a real way of connecting and showing love to someone. Step four is to make another list that's all about how you can show love to yourself. 
This is a huge and very important list because so many of us, maybe you watching this right now, is showing love to yourself by buying treats or indulging in unhealthy um, behavior and sugary foods. Make this list, whether it's saying no to certain things in your life, or prioritizing your sleep and your self-care, or even the most powerful way is to say I love you or something that you love about yourself every day in the mirror when you wake up. After you've made both of these lists, the next step is really to post reminders around your house. So remind yourself um, around your house on post-it notes or on your phone as a reminder, how you are planning to show love going forward instead of using sugar. Now the last step is now that you're aware of that this is going on, whenever a holiday or i.e. Valentine's Day or a special occasion or something comes up, ask yourself, how can I show love without sugar or food for that matter? Asking yourself that question will open up that channel in your brain and remind you of those amazing lists that you've already made that you can refer to and use those to actually show love. Now don't forget for even more tips and a huge list of ideas for celebrating Valentine's Day without sugar, come on over and subscribe to my newsletter. Um, the link is below and keep your eye on your inbox next week for that list. Thank you so much for tuning in and please don't forget to hit subscribe below and like this video. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.